the current state of the FIFA 21 market needs to be addressed. It's just absolute madness. We've seen some crazy drops, 20, 25% drops on huge expensive cards, up to a million coins in value, and it just keeps on dropping. It's absolutely madness what we are currently seeing. And in this video, we're going to be sort of breaking it down, trying to make sense of this all. What is happening? Why is it happening? And also what's going to be happening now in the next few days? Is there going to be a recovery or is it just going to get worse? That is the important question that we are going to be trying to answer. So just before we get into it, make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel. Whenever there are going to be future market crashes, we are going to be making videos warning about them, sort of with fitness, also team of the year. And definitely make sure that you guys are subscribed for that. You do not want to miss any of those videos. And we're also going to be breaking them down. Once the market crash happens, when we're in them, talking about how can we sort of survive them? How can we get out of them? and make coins, try and make coins whilst we are doing it all. So definitely make sure that you are subscribed. So getting straight into this one now, why did the market go down in the first place? That is a huge question that we do need to sort of answer. Lightning rounds were unexpectedly introduced with this Team of the Group Stage promo. We did get 18 new Team of the Group Stage cards released. There was mainly Champions League, but there were also a few Europa League cards in there and it is making them a lot more appealing. They were on number one footbin page pretty much all of them were just filling it up and everyone wants these cards so perhaps they are going to be selling an inform Rashford that they have in their team and they're going to try and get the new team the group stage one so that is going to be making the value of inform Rashford go down so pretty much all of the other cards are going to be going down people are going to be selling them and they want to play with the new team the group stage cards and the team the group stage cards are also going down in price because there are so many packs being opened so many lightning rounds back to the first point so so they are being packed listed on the market so their value is also going down so pretty much that makes a scenario where absolutely everything on the market is going down we do also have lots of coins being taken away from this market there's so many SBCs Zhao Felix Lucas Mora Alessandrini from earlier as well so many people are doing these and literally obviously you need to sell your cards therefore and then you can complete this because you need the coin so there's so many people doing that and also with all of the icon SBCs there's still people doing those or who have done them very recently as well and foot champions it just feels really unrewarding the rewards are not good at all team of the week last one wasn't too good so people aren't too motivated to play foot champions so they're mainly just doing these sbcs doing the objectives trying to enjoy themselves so maybe that is why we didn't see such a buyback on friday and also saturday morning that maybe some of us did expect and everyone is losing coins right now so do not worry about that if you're losing coins i lost a lot of coins as well today probably like around 400 500k big l for me but you guys probably are losing coins as well but do not worry about it try and just recover from that and learn from the mistake that you did make but that is also adding to this because people are already panicking if they have a card right now they're just going to list him maybe 10 20k under what he's going for on footman because they're just fed up and they are angry at the game from the champions bad gameplay and also they are already losing coins so all of this added together it is creating a very bad thing for the market the situation is not not good but how is it going to be looking in the future what is going to be happening well we do need to take a look at what happened last year that can sort of give us a picture of what's going to be happening this year and to be honest as we can see here this big drop is sort of expected it was the same time team of the group stage also just before foot miss there is sort of a little bit of panic but it is sort of a changing point it is going to be mainly the market going to be going down until we do get team of the year so we're going to see how exactly that is going to be looking Looking. everyone is going to be looking at this graph so everyone's going to be expecting for the same exact thing to happen but maybe we are going to be seeing a similar picture of course to last year except it's going to be in a lot sort of shorter time period so we might see even a steeper fall decrease in price sort of a crash than what we did see last year just like we saw today 950k for gold Neymar and he dropped down all the way to around 775k in the matter of 24 hours that is just 
absolute madness. That might be happening. Maybe something similar to that. He's already back up to around 820, 830k. So perhaps he does drop down again to around 750, 740, even lower than that. And that is going to be sort of this steep point. But the time that he's going to be that low might be shorter than last year. So last year, this lasted around three to four weeks. But maybe this year, that is only going to be two to three weeks. It is going to be a week shorter because whilst everyone expects it to be the exact same dates as last year, everything should be happening a little bit earlier because there is going to be a lot of anticipation. People are going to be ready to buy. So that is why, for example, we did see 2 to 3 p.m. this time, UK time today on Saturday. I mean, we did see a lot of buyback all of a sudden at one time. There is a conspiracy theory that it was actually EA Sports behind this. So they saw the market getting too low. EA Sports didn't want it to go that low. They didn't want for such a deep market crash to stay this way. So just before 6 p.m., around two to three hours before the content release today, which turned out to be that Oxlade Chamberlain SBC, they did just buy back all of the cards. Of course, EA can just have an account with millions and millions of coins, a billion coins if they want, and they can just be buying back these cards. They probably don't even have it on an account. They can just delete cards from the database. Maybe that is what they were doing. That is just a conspiracy theory out there, but possibly it was that just card prices just got way too low. That Neymar got way too low. Everyone got way too low. There was a really nice rebound with all cards. I luckily bought in for Renato Sanchez, picked up a few at around 165k, 170, and literally after 30 minutes, he bounced back up to around 190k. So if you are looking in a summary, what is going to be happening? If you want to be making coins still trading, do be very, very careful how you do step. This Sunday is going to be a very significant point, very important squad battles as well. With all of these lightning rounds, it's going to be probably quite brutal, but we are going to have to see. Keep an eye out on that. It's best to have all of your coins available, but if you do see cards that are going to be sort of road to the final cards, they always have their value. They're not suddenly going to be dropping down because of a market crash like this. You might have a card like Info Renato Sanchez. I do quite like trading with him because that Europa League road to the final, it just keeps getting more expensive, more expensive, more unattainable for the casual player. But this Inform, it's still required. He's the best center mid in League One. Very overpowered. Everyone is still using him. So there's still going to be that certain demand for this card. So if he does reach 160k again, I'm going to be going buying that. Maybe try and find a few other cards as well. I lost my coins on the Inform Zhao Felix. I thought that was a card that was also similar to Renato, but obviously not. This play of the month just caused way too panic and I ended up selling at the wrong times thinking that it's going to go even lower. But that was a mess and I'm working on recovering now. Inform Lozano, maybe as well. You can check him out. But gold cards, maybe stay away from them. But if you are looking to buy, I guess just hold off. Just wait a week or two. Don't play for champions. And as we can see here from this FIFA 20 graph, it does just keep going lower until team of the year. Let me know down in the comments below. Did you guys lose any coins? What are you going to be doing to try and earn them back? And what are you saw your future plans to buy and sell your cards? What are you going to be doing? Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.